Hey guys, it's Rennie. So for this earrings, I'm going to be using some air dry porcelain clay. This is the kind of clay that hardens with air. You don't have to bake anything. I just prefer to work with this one. But if you prefer to work with polymer clay, feel free to do so. You get pretty much the same results. I'm going to be rolling some clay. I'm working over my craft mat. I do have the review for this one. And also I'm using this roller that has those two green rings on each, well, teal rings on the edges. Those are there so that I can have the same thickness all around my clay. And so my earrings will be the same thickness. I'm going to be using this piping tip with my Wilton 1M. I'm going to be washing this afterwards. Cutting two per pair. This is how I'm going to be making or just shaping my clay so that they look like mini eggs or just like oval shapes by rolling them in between the palms of my hands like this until I have the shape that I want. Sometimes it took me a while to get there, not gonna lie, because sometimes you get a round shape and then you keep on doing this until you get there. Since this is like air dry, I'm gonna be waiting for this to dry a little bit so they are not as soft. And once they are hardened on the outside but soft on the inside, I'm gonna be taking some like sewing pins, making some holes in there. And I'm gonna let them dry with my sewing pins in there. If you're using polymer clay you just bake them with the sewing pins in there so for two pairs i'm going to be painting them with this of white i do have the diy for this one covering them giving them two three coats and then letting them dry on this like block of foam grabbing them with my pliers then i'm going to be taking some white acrylic paint and i'm using this mixing like palette thing and i'm going to be using the steel blue purple pink and yellow pretty much going to be making them pastel-ish like easter colors by just mixing them with the white of course and I suggest you just start with less of the color and more of the white. Then for the first pair, I'm going to be using this dotting tool. I do have the DIY for this one. Pretty much going to be adding dots in a polka dot pattern, sort of, as much as I can because of the shape is like round and just cleaning my tool as I uh, switch to the next color. Just the main thing is not to place two dots of the same color next to each other and I'm going to let this dry. For the next one, I'm going to be taking this brush. I think this this is for like the eye crease, I'm not real sure, it's like for makeup, like for eyeshadow. Never use it for that, I use it for painting. But feel free to work with a sponge, like a mini sponge, because we're going to be doing just that. Like sponging the colors all throughout these little eggs, cleaning my brush in between colors, and just remembering that I have five colors and this is like a not a huge, you know, shape. So that just keep that in mind, not get like super excited with just one color and then not leave room for the rest. And at the end, I'm just going to be packing all the colors with my finger like this just so that they blend smoothly okay for this gold one this is a customized gold by the way i do have the DIY showing you how to make this this one is 100 inspired by one of my favorite scenes from one of my favorite movies willy wonka i love this movie so much obviously my shape doesn't look as perfect as those eggs but we tried also let me know if you have watched this movie it's like a classic to me like the original one the first one i liked the johnny depp one as well but this one was my favorite one i want to know how many of you have watched this movie now i'm going to be adding some gloss to all of them using my sculpey this one says satin in there but it's like glossy and using my brush that again is for eyeshadow but i just used it for arts and crafts i found the bristle softer doing that for the three pairs now it's time to assemble the whole thing and it's pretty much like the same ish in all of them using my super glue and for the first pair i'm just gluing my eye pin to my little egg helping myself with my pliers and these are the eye pins that i'm using by the way then i'm going to be opening my ear wires with my pliers placing my eye pin then just closing them and this is it for this ones for this one and next one is pretty much the same I forgot to mention that I removed the sewing pin with my pliers like this from like all of them using this double eye pin. I do have the DIY showing you how to make eye pins so that when you have an eye pin you can create another loop on the other side cutting this in half and by the way these are the eye pins that I'm using again gluing this to my little gold egg and then I'm going to be taking this antique gold chain I have no idea what the name of this one is actually really old but I'm going to be arranging this as for how long I want this to be cutting that and then just cutting this again I'm going to be opening the loop of my eye pin placing my chain and then just closing my eye pin again and then I'm going to be using this ear wires I actually love this one I think they are like super cute the loop placing the other side of my chain and then just closing them 
and this is what this Willy Wonka ones look like. And then for this ones, I'm going to be doing the same thing. I just want to show you guys the ear wires that I used for this ones, and this is how you close them. But yeah, guys, these are the three ideas that I want to share with you. I love them all. Something Easter that I wanted to make and share. If I were to do this again, though, I would just make them bigger because I feel like in some of them you can't even tell what's going on. Maybe just gathering two 1M cutouts and just turning them into one. But maybe they are okay. They're like a settled statement. Actually, really easy to wear and pair off with anything pretty lightweight and affordable to make i really hope you like them as much as i did if you did don't forget to give this a thumbs up check out more easter stuff that i have on my channel i just made an easter eggs phone case if you're in the mood for more thanks so much for watching i'll talk to you later and take care bye